Nobody is trying to cancel Snoop, Dre, and Eminem. I want their music on Spotify. If I like it, I listen. If I don't like it, I don't listen. But in the same way, if the NFL announced that at halftime, Andrew Dice Clay was going to do nursery rhymes, my guess is that would raise an eyebrow with people. And they'd say, that doesn't go with the NFL being a safe place, that they're trying to make it a safe place for women, homosexuals, and all races and genders, right? And now you're going to put up artists. A lot of their songs are homophobic, uh, misogynistic, which, again, I'm okay with as an artist. But you're putting them on your largest stage, which is the Super Bowl halftime show. That is a, a huge stage. And the NFL is aiming to give their product to uh, women, children, all genders. You can't. They don't go together. And Rob, people you know, were wondering was, about it because all afternoon on all sorts of sports debate and radio shows, it was talked about. But I, I would say, you know, as far as the halftime show goes, those guys aren't going to be performing anything like that. Great. And, and you know what? John, using... and, and John Gruden, when he's coaching, isn't going to be using racial and homophobic sure, but, slurs. But John Gruden's the leader of that organization right. and an employee for the NFL. And, and on top of that, you know, I know a lot of people who would make that same argument would use a slippery slope argument. And if you're going to use the slippery slope ar- argument, then you have to take away everything. Nothing can ever be associated with the NFL. 5% of all deaths in the world are alcohol-related, right, for working-age men. So alcohol can't sponsor the NFL because you could die. I mean, like, you, at that point, you, you have to uncover every rock and every stone. My problem is just the consistency with it. So it's not a whataboutism. I'm, I'm, it's still in, under the umbrella of the NFL. And the NFL is portraying themselves as an all-inclusive thing, you then cannot bring on under your umbrella, under Roger Goodell, under the biggest television show of the year, you cannot put that under your umbrella. You're They're under your umbrella now. And if you want to go to the thing about the drinking and uh, gambling, that's cool too. I'm cool with that as well. But, but then you can't do anything. Like I said, and they're, but part you can. Of the they're under the umbrella but, is the partnership that the NFL has. But the NFL is not out there telling people not to drink. And I think that's what Al is saying. Like they're saying, all right, we're not going to accept this over here, but we're going to accept this over here. But then if you, if you go to that other argument, then you're going to have to go to everything because there's something you could find to get rid of everything. When you're talking about Snoop Dogg and Dr. Dre, you're referencing, I mean, the people who would defend Gruden would say these emails were how many years ago. The Chronic came out in 1993. Doggy Style came out in 1994. M&M's, you know, controversies were at, at 2000. But they still we're perform 30, those 20, songs. 30 years from there. They still, yeah, if, if you go see Eminem. The Super Bowl. Of course, okay, but if you go see Eminem today, you're getting all those lyrics. Not the, No, not the, not the ones that have caused the most issue. No, he's not. He's not going to drop certain bombs right, in a performance. He just not because the times have changed, and then they adapted their performance as a result. They're not NFL employees. They're uh, using artistic freedom. I don't. I'm not for getting rid of artists or getting rid of people. I'm I, saying. I, just, you, I guess I just don't understand how one's brain could go from the John Gruden situation within hours to Snoop Dogg and Dr. Dre. It feels like an attempt. Like, that's why I said what about it, and that's why that particular point annoyed me, because it's just like an attempt to talk about something else when I it's don't not. really see the parallels there. Okay, they're completely separate. Gruden's fire deserves to be fired. This, the Super Bowl halftime show, I'm not referencing one that happened 10 years ago. It hasn't happened yet, so it's current. This but, is a current but situation. Such a problem, don't you think uh, people would have brought it up in the first place? You know, as many activist groups as there are out there, as many people who get offended over every little thing, yeah. you know, there's a, a, a micro controversy on a day to day basis that drives me insane because it makes you think, you know, the real situations are boy who cried wolf now because, you know, people are getting mad about everything. Don't you think if it was such a problem and people had, you know, a problem, these activist groups that, that fight for themselves all the time would stand up and say, no, Eminem can't perform at the Super Bowl. No, Snoop Dogg can't perform at the Super, you, Super, and, Super Bowl. No, no one was saying that. They did. Everybody wants to see them perform at the Super Bowl. Everybody wants to see it. I don't get the problem. <laughs> uh, do you feel uh, satisfied? Everybody feels satisfied? No, with... I think we just went no. round and round and round and round yeah, and round. Yeah, basically, yes. That's not really accomplish anything, yeah. but that's usually what happens in this world. <laughs> we did I, agree on some stuff. Yeah. I won. 